Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at a Agent Tesla JavaScript file and just showing some quick methods that you can use to decode that. So I've already saved the sample from Malwarebazaar. Uh, it's been marked as Agent Tesla booking.com something something.js and I've already downloaded that and put that onto my virtual machine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just extract it. Password is infected as usual. And I'm just going to create a copy so I can keep the original hash. And since it's JavaScript, I'm going to open that in Notepad++. And we can see it's full of a lot of junk. Uh, it also has this array here which is full of little pieces of text which are likely used to build something else later. And the whole thing is pretty much full of this, whatever this is. I can't seem to see anything where it's being removed, so I'm just going to grab one and I'm going to use the search and replace to remove it, just replace it with nothing. Now it's always possible that that may break the script, but most of the time it's easier to just get rid of it. I'm also going to add some new lines every time there's a semicolon just to make the whole thing a little bit more readable and we can see that now all of that junk is removed we're left with an array full of partial text you can see this variable where it's all being added together and we can see some references to ActiveX object and WScript. So I'm going to assume that that's where it's combining these to make some sort of command and then it's using a combination of WScript and ActiveX to execute whatever that is. So the way I'm going to decode that is just to comment out the lines where it's actually being executed. And instead of executing it, I'm going to use wscript.echo to print it all out. And we can see that most of it is going into this variable. I'm going to start by printing that. And then we can run it and see if we get anything. And look at that. We get a PowerShell command and a URL related to Blogspot. And we can see a little mix of those strings. But that's really cool because we already get the PowerShell command and we get the C2 or at least the address of a server that's hosting the next file. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, we can see that another string is being built here. We can go ahead and use the same Thing to print that. And we can go ahead and pretty much do the same for any of the strings that follow. So I'm just going to take those all, type out a wscript.echo.
and just have them all print on the screen. Now, if we run the file, uh, messed up something on line 11. I don't know if there's a comma there, so get rid of that. And run it again. And there we get that URL again from the original PowerShell command. We get some strings which seem to contain W script. We can see the WS script and run. And now we get an error that G1 is undefined, and that's because I commented that out. Go ahead and fix that. Run it again. Get the URL again. Get the little strings. You can see that that's been arranged to wscript.shell. Scripting file system object. Script full name. And there's one more that we didn't print, which is the ninth ninth piece of that array. Go ahead and print that. Your URL and command again, strings, more strings. And the last one is delete file. So we can probably assume it's downloading a file from that URL using PowerShell. It's saving it, it's executing it, and then it's just deleting it. But the most important piece is this really long one here, which when we run, again, is just this PowerShell command. And that's it. That's all we really need to decode that. Uh, the next step would probably be to save that file, use something like PowerShell to download it, and then start inspecting it and seeing where it goes. Uh, but we know from Malware Bazaar that it was marked as Agent Tesla, so most likely that's just a, that's either Agent Tesla itself, or it's another script which is going to download that. And yeah, that's all there is.